Westchester Talk Radio. What a beautiful afternoon, a sunny day, beautiful breeze on the outside of the atrium. We're here for this 40 Under 40 Leaders Award. It's modeled after the national program the Business Council of Westchester does. This is the 14th year they've been doing this award ceremony, and uh, you're going to meet some of these wonderful young leaders tonight who possess several attributes that make them leaders in the Westchester business community, and some of these attributes include personal, uh, professional accomplishments and also business success. And we have one of those winners with us, as a matter of fact, right now. She is Catherine Yamula. She's a medical educator with New York Medical College, and she joins us this afternoon. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you so much. It is an incredible honor to be a part of this 40 Under 40 group. So many accomplished people, and being a part of New York Medical College, which is so entrenched in Westchester County and the health care that we provide to its residents, um, I just it's, it's so wonderful to be at something that gives back so much, and I look forward to being a bigger part of, of the Westchester Council Business Council. How do you find success in, in what you do? Well, I, it really comes down to patient care. So I, I, we do a little, maybe what people don't know about medical simulation. I'm the director of our clinical skills and simulation center, and we use live uh, patients, actors, and uh, mannequins, these very extensive mannequins that can simulate anything a human can do. And we teach students how to communicate well with patients, how to be okay with saying that they don't know and don't have the right answer and know who to go to, and, and really, most importantly, preventing medical errors in the care of our patients at Westchester County. And, and that's what, beyond, what medical education is all about? Oh, 100%. I mean, it is the art and science of medicine for a reason. So I hold up the art side of things. Um, the wonderful basic scientists and physicians hold up the medicine side or the science side. Uh, but really, the art is is how you talk to patients, how you communicate, and how you put together the big picture. And that's that's what I do, and that's what I'm passionate about. Uh, too many people don't have patient care advocates. People don't know when to speak up for patient care. And so we're there to make sure the patient, the doctor's on the patient side and not just on the side of figuring out some great mystery. I think that's very important because healthcare is a field that's in demand, especially in this in this healthcare environment we're living in. I mean, it's so complicated, and patient advocates like yourself are a very vital part of that. Oh, absolutely, and, and I think anyone knows when they when they go to receive care, they get a survey back in the mail, and maybe that gets thrown away, maybe it gets filled out. But I think it's really important because. Uh, medicine is, at essence, customer service at people's most vulnerable points in their life. And so uh, figuring out what's wrong and, and solving their, their health issues is just as important as, as making them feel a part of the process. It is complicated trying to figure out what the problem is, and you help guide them through that whole process? Oh, absolutely. We put students through all sorts of fake scenarios, whether it's from delivering bad news, if it's from talking to a patient about a canceled procedure, if it's just about you know counseling them on, on issues at home or whatever it is. We put them through these fake scenarios, and we give them feedback so that they can do it in a safe environment before before they actually test it out on real patients. And then they learn it in the real world once they do that. Oh yeah, we pair it and we, I work with the residents, I work with the, the physicians of Westchester County. It doesn't stop at medical education uh, when they graduate from medical school. It's really a first step to that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I just, I couldn't be more thrilled and, and, and uh, thrilled to have the opportunity to work with New York Medical College for as long as I have. Just reading the background here about the Business Council being important to the county, what does that mean to you? Oh gosh. Well, first off, I think it's amazing to get the younger people involved. You know, I, I think we, we try, we, we go through it every day and we forget that there's something more than us in Westchester County. So in the ability to give back and to raise money for awareness for different um, causes or to um, to just to let people know what businesses are out there, like our healthcare industry, for instance, to letting people know that, you know, there are young people who are passionate about healthcare and we can give back to our community. And the Westchester Business Council, to me, means giving back to the community that has given so much to me. Well, you're certainly giving to the community very much. Congratulations again, Catherine, on your award, and have fun tonight, okay? I will. Thank you so much. All right. Again, we've been speaking with Catherine Yamola. Again, she's with New York Medical College, a medical educator, one of the many winners of the 40 Under 40 Rising Stars Award by the Business Council of Westchester. Thank you so much. Again, this is Westchester Talk Radio broadcasting live from the Business Council's headquarters here at the atrium in Rybrook. We're going to step aside for just a moment. We'll be back with more of the show and lots more guests. Right?